Hello. <coughs> Try that again, shall we? Hello, everybody. This is Dream Gamer Yurt to kick off the Kakashin Clash Tournament with part one for round one. And we'll have four beautiful matches to get tucked into. So, without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup. Right then, in the red corner. <coughs> I, don't, I don't know why I'm clogging this morning. <laughs> in the red corner, we got the Rugops. Or the Rude Gops. No? Okay. Rugops, one of many wind dinosaurs in this tournament, because wind dinosaurs seem to be abundant in my tournaments lately. But it will be a tough matchup, because in the blue corner, we got the Bumblebeesaurus, the Metriacanthosaurus. I think, other than Eocarcaria and Omega Eocarcaria, the only new fire dinosaur to debut during the Kakashin era. I mean, it kind of makes sense, because with this game, a lot of the fire dinosaurs debuted very early on. Yeah. So it makes sense there won't be that many during Kakashin. Right, quick reminder of how this will work. Moves are randomly generated by the random number generator. 1 to 6. 1 and 4 is rock. 2 and 5 is paper. 3 and 6 is scissors. And it is Rugops getting the first hit. Crit block the map to boot as well. So, in this scenario, Rugops will be going for a crit. And he's going to be getting the crit. And it is best out of three, like normal. And I think Rugops is going to take a 1-0 lead. Oh, 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 the type advantage there, saving Metriacanthosaurus from defeat. Ooh, he gets a crit. Metriacanthosaurus getting off a dive in press. Yes, I know the move's not compatible with him, but I had to pick something. <laughs> the Metriacanthosaurus not going down yet. Okay, now he's going down. <laughs> it's the ninja attack. Ninja attack to finish off Metriacanthosaurus and give Rugops a 1 0 lead. Good start from the Rugops, but there's still time for Met to turn this around as we move on to round two. Right then, round two, we're on the Sunset Beach. Can Rugops continue its impressive start, or will Metric and Thoris bite back? Hmm, poor. I'm parched. <sighs> Ooh, Metri, Metri getting the first hit there. Doing some decent damage with the tight advantage. No Volcano Burst triggered though. And just think, guys, we are getting closer. We are getting ever so closer to the big one. And for those of you that have been... Actually, now that I think about it, it has been a, pretty much a year ago that I started the last one. Because it was about a year when I reached 1,000 subscribers. Awesome. Well, this is awesome from Metriocanthosaurus. Dispatching Rugops with ease in round two to level things up. So I'm sure you all know what that means. It all gets decided by this next round. Ooh, we're in the grassy, we're in the meadow. Round three, can the Rugops, can the Rugops pull off this win or will Metriacanthosaurus sting his way to victory? Get it? Because it's like a bumblebee dinosaur. <laughs> Ugh. I amuse, I amaze myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, for those of you that are wondering why moves keep flashing above the Rugops, it's because this Rugops is warning type. Ooh, and he's getting the first hit. Crit block to come as well. It should do extra damage. Yeah, definitely. Just got a demonstration of what warning type does. Right, so Rugox will be going for scissors. Ooh, ninja attack! Not good for the Met. Although, like in the first round, the type advantage will save him from dying. But it will put Rugox in a commanding position to win this match. <clears throat> Ooh, 
Ooh, wow, this is, this is literally a repeat of the first round. Metriacanthosaurus landing a crest. Not done yet, but can Metriacanthosaurus change the outcome this time? Well, the odds are still in Rugops' favour quite heavily because Met needs at least two hits to kill it. And a tie will be enough for Rugops to win. And a tie is what it is. Down goes Metriacanthosaurus, and it's Rugops that advances to the next round. Which I believe is the quarterfinal. Yeah. So Rugops will be advancing to the quarterfinal round, and Metriacanthosaurus bows out. Right then, that was a brilliant way to start the tournament. Let's hope this next matchup will be just as intense. Right, well, this will be an interesting matchup. In the red corner, we got the Gigant Spinosaurus. Part of Team. It was one of Team Diddy Darius's dinosaurs that won the tournament, my main tournament last year. Gigant Spinosaurus, not to be underestimated in this tournament. One of quite a few Earth dinosaurs to feature, actually. However, in the blue corner, we got the rogue, we got the outlaw, we got the only secret dinosaur in this tournament, we got Eoraptor. And he's transforming into Styracosaurus. Two ways this will go for Eoraptor. It's either going to do really well in this tournament or it's going to suck. Well, it's got the plasma anchor, so ties will favour it. <laughs> Let's see how this match plays out. Ooh, oh, oh, here comes Plasma Anchor. Like, this guy's got over 3,000 techniques. He gets Plasma Anchor off every time. So, we're probably going to see a lot of Plasma Anchor. Excuse me. Bow, <laughs> bow. Good start from Eoraptor. And the blunt. Oh, no plasma anchor this time. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't know if you're burping at this. Oh, oh, here comes another plasma anchor. <laughs> Ties will suit Eoraptor all day long. Um, honestly, I prefer the Eoraptor from the DS game, where you could just use all the super moves. In addition, in a in, in comparison to this one, I rather that Eoraptor. Ooh, well, Eoraptor, I think, has just secured a lead. Oh, yeah, definitely. Down goes Gigant Spinosaurus. Didn't even get a hit. In fact, there's only one hit. Official hit, if you exclude the plasma anchors. But it is Eoraptor in the lead. But can he hold on to it? Let's find out as we move on to round two. Right then, round two. Can the Gigant Spinosaurus put up a fight? Or will the Eoraptor continue to impress? Okay, we'll skip this and see what he becomes this time. Ooh, a Margosaurus. That should mean he gets Ocean Panic. Let's have a look. Yes, he does get Ocean Panic. Ooh, it might be panic time for Gigant Spinosaurus. I'd probably say the worst thing it could turn into was, is something like, well, Sauropagonax and Stegosaurus. Because I don't, I won't have Heat Eruption or Sand Trap. Ooh, and it's Eoraptor getting the first hit. It's a crit, although Eoraptor doesn't have that high damage output. Defense boost coming in there, that will definitely help him. Oh, another tie. You know what that means? It's Ocean Panic time. And I think the Gigant Spinosaurus is going to start to panic. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's panic time for Gigant Spinosaurus. The moves have been nullified. Eoraptor has the advantage. Okay, yeah, I think the Oraptor might actually guarantee the win here, because the worst case scenario is a tie, and he'll get Ocean Panic off. Okay, okay, maybe, maybe Gigant Spinosaurus has a chance. If it survives this hit. Oh, I didn't! Wow. 
Eorath, the dispatching Gigant Spinosaurus with relative ease. I don't think we saw that, I don't think I saw that coming, honestly. Eoraptor just blew it away. The tie moves with Eoraptor just... This is so busted. It's bu he is busted. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to our third match of this session, shall we? Okie dokie then, in the red corner, we got probably the tournament favourite. It's Brontekins. Brontekins fresh off his victory in the Jurassic Tussle tournament, where he pretty much dominated. Although, this time, he does have a different moveset, and I have removed recovery because... sod it. Because that's basically what gave him the win last time. So he is a little bit nerfed this time, in my opinion. So it's going to be tough for this poor old Panoplosaurus in the boom corner. Kind of a forgettable dinosaur, to be honest. One of the dinosaurs you don't really remember. It's, it's a pretty decent dinosaur, actually. It is decent. But it's one of the more forgettable ones. But I'm sure it will be remembered if it takes out Bronthikins. And yeah, oh well, well, that's not a good start, is it? It's a crit off the bat. Ooh, but Crystal Crusher has been triggered. Both of these two have tie based cataclysmic, cataclysmic moves, with Bronte having Aqua Vortex and Nocto having Crystal Crusher. Ooh, we're gonna see some Crystal Crusher. Will this crush Bronte begins into submission? Boosh! It will lower his defences as well, so Pinotosaurus can deal more damage. A stru- a, you know, Brontekins is in the lead, but Pinotosaurus putting up a fight. Ooh, he gets the next hit. Will that put Pinotosaurus in the lead? Indeed it does. And as I said, Brontekins does not have recovery to protect him now. Oh, but he does get a crit. And with that, I think it might actually be lethal. Okay, no, definitely not. But we're going to see Crystal Crusher yet again. Get triggered. Boosh! But now the odds are... Oh, actually, no, because of the Crystal Crusher. So the odds are actually in Panoptosaurus' favour here. Ooh, and we're going to see Crystal Crusher again. Is this lethal? Has Panoptosaurus snatched the... Snatch the lead. Okay, no, but it's been a really tight match so far. Neither dinosaur given an inch, and it all comes down to this. Oh, it's a tight. Wait, is that going to be a tight? Oh, Brontekin survived. <laughs> Poor Panoplosaurus. Oh, bless his little soul. It did so well to get Brontekins down. But Brontekins just had enough muscle left in the tank to tank a tie. But it's not over for Panoplosaurus yet. He can still turn this around and that. But Brontekins takes the lead. Right then, round two. Will it be as enticing as that first round between these two? A really tight match. Panoplosaurus was on the brink of the lead. But Brontekins managed to survive the tie. Ooh, Brontekins gets the first hit. Although, it's not a crit this time. Will that make a difference? You know the one thing I like about Panoplosaurus? is the fact that his back spikes literally keep going in and out. Like, you watch the animations of Panoplosaurus, and you'll notice that the spikes keep moving. And it, it seems more distinctive with Panoplosaurus than it does for any of the other Earth dinosaurs. Which makes me wonder that Panoplosaurus probably went on another dinosaur's wreck. Like Edmontonia or something. Interesting, huh? Pontekins extends his lead. Gets another hit on the board. Honestly, I don't think we'll ever see the Spectral Armor or Omega Armor, which is a real shame. But, you know, that just is what it is, I'm afraid. There's no, not much I can do about it. 
Ooh, Panoplosaur is getting hits this time. It's not Crystal Crusher, but he's getting some Dino Yeetage. Yeah, because this would happen. Like, look at the anime. It's terrible. Like, he's not even biting his tail. It's like the tail's above his head. <laughs> yeah, I think that's more Ankylosaurus. Maybe he's got the Ankylosaurus brick. Because I think Ankylosaurus is the biggest Earth dinosaur. Well, the biggest Earth Ankylosaur dinosaur in this game. And ooh, wait a minute. Oh, he killed Brontogins! Well, there goes my jibber jabber in. But Panoplosaurus has even the score. So Brontogins not having it his own way. And that makes this deciding round all the more enticing. Right, round two, round three. Wow, this has been really tight. It's, it's literally come down to the last moves in, in both of the rounds so far. This is going to be really close. Closer than I thought it would be, but Panoplosaurus has definitely put up a fight and shown us all why he's a decent dinosaur. Oh, we start with a tie. Hmm, ties seem to favour Brontekins. Brontekins seems to take slightly less damage. And he does get to build up his armour as well. Not that we'll see it, but, you know, here's hoping. Ooh, might be Brontekins' turn to get off some Aqua Vortexes. Well, he doesn't need it, because he gets a crit anyway. But no Strufiel Rush. Oh, it's a tie. Can Brontekins finish the job? Ooh, not yet. Panoplosaurus getting another hit. But another Aqua Vortex has been triggered. Ooh, but again, Brontekins doesn't need it. Getting off the tail smash. Boom! And Brontekins on the brink of getting this done, but a hit from Panoplosaurus could win it for Panoplosaurus. Oh, it's a tie. Yeah, that's it. Game over for Panoplosaurus. It, I tell you what, it put up a fight. It put up one heck of a fight against the big bad Brontekins. But in the end, Brontekins just proved a little bit too strong and advances to the quarterfinal round. Ooh, that was a good matchup. Good matchup there. Right, we got one more matchup to go now to conclude this session. So let's get on with that match, shall we? Right then, in the red corner. We have the Alberta Ceratops, a dinosaur that has featured quite a few times in my tournaments in the past. People seem to like it. Will Alberta Ceratops do well in this tournament? Well, you've got a big task ahead of him because in the blue corner, we got the one, we got the only, we got Omega Eocarcaria. The souped up Eocarcaria. The powerhouse itself, the one thing that maybe could stand a chance against Brontekins. Although, like Brontekins, we probably won't get to see Omega armor because of how short these matches are. If there were two v twos, then yeah, we probably would be a better chance of seeing the armor. Oh, oh, uh oh! Hang on, technical difficulties. Yes, I feel like I need a new Ethernet cable. Alright, Eocarc here again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't go over the fact that the galley mine was quacks. Like a duck. Right, Eocarc here getting the first hit there. The, the Duckasaurus coming in for the, for the kicks. Strong start by Omega Eocarc. Ooh, but Alberta Ceratops striking back. And I should point out, like I did in the announcement video, whoever wins this match will now get a match with Brontekins in the quarterfinal. So I suppose it's good that one of these two is going to be at least knocked out of the quarters. Of course, Eokarkiru has got to get through first, and there's no guarantee of that. Not in my tournaments. But Eokarkiru is on top thus far. Slippy chippy chap chap, quack 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 quack, get a mine was going quackers. Yes, I do feel like I need a new Ethernet cable soon. 
Ooh, Alberta Ceratops, not done yet. Final Fury coming in. Can Alberta Ceratops turn this around? Ooh, driving on Eogar Carrier into the dirt. Well, into the concrete, really. Well, the odds are still in Eo's favour because a tie will be enough, but Alberta Ceratops has put himself, given himself a chance to win this. And he doesn't take it. Eocarcaria wins round one. <laughs> oh, never mind. Eocarcaria's in the lead. And yeah, we've got to wait for this animation to play out because... Overkill. Yeah, not much... You know, not much competition here. Eocarcaria takes a 1-0 lead. But can Alberta Ceratops put up a fight and turn this around? Let's find out in round two. Right, round two. Will Alberta Ceratops be able to pull one back? Or will Eocarcaria continue to impress? I feel like Eocarcaria is probably going to get this done in this round. But we'll have, to, we'll have to see, won't we? Ooh, maybe not. Unless, well, Alberta Ceratops couldn't have asked for a better start. A crit off the bat. The atomic bomb there did loads of damage. Wow. I, I forget this guy's got a pretty powerful crit in comparison to other lightning dinosaurs. To most lightning dinosaurs whose attack stats are more rounded. Oh, look at this! A thunder driver to come. Alberta Ceratops, quick as lightning, in the lead. Well, extending the lead. Showing Omega Eel Carcaria that he is not going to have it all his own way. And look at that! In fact, I think a tie might be enough for Leafa. Ooh, but... Oh, here comes the recovery. Since Eel Carcaria took a hit from a crit, the recovery's coming in. I'm going to heal him up a bit. Flare Sword as well. Omega Eocarcaria showing, showing yet again why he is considered one of the best dinosaurs in this game. Oh, that's a tie. But Alberta Ceratops does have the slight lead. And I think Alberta Ceratops has leveled things up. Well, yeah, definitely. Eogar area ain't gonna survive this. And it is Alberta Ceratops leveling the leveling the match. So you know what this means? It all comes down to this deciding round. Well, fit then that this deciding round is gonna be played in the Coliseum Arena. Because this feels like a Coliseum clash. Can Alberta Ceratops pull off an upset? And I should point out, if Alberta Ceratops does win this match, going up against Bronthikins, he's going to have the type advantage. And that could make things very interesting. But, you've got to get past his big brute first. And that is definitely no easy feat. Another tie. Ooh, me. We keep getting ties, we might see Omega Armor. Ooh, it's our bit of Ceratops striking first. Not much damage, but he did strike first. The Thunder Driver has been triggered. Oh, and he gets it! And let's not forget, Eocarcaria hasn't been hit with a crit yet, so he can't use recovery. Is this it? Are we going to see our first big upset of the tournament? Oh, we might! We might! Alberta Ceratops might pull this off! Okay, Eocarcaria does get his first hit in this round. No Galley Rush and no Flare Sword. Wow! Is it not, is it not gonna be his day today? No, it's not! Eocarcaria! Omega Eocarcaria! Gone! A come from behind win for our Buddha Ceratops, who knocks out Omega Eocarcaria in style. And we'll have a chance to knock out Bronthikins in the quarterfinal round. And that, my friends, 
is one hell of an upset. And pop a comment down below if you saw that coming. Well, let's have a look at the ma matchups for re for the quarterfinal round, shall we? Well, look at that. Massive upset here for Eo for Eocarcaria. Knocked out of the first round against Alberta Ceratops. Who will take a crack at Bronthikins with the type advantage? Well, pop a comment down below. Do you think Alberta Ceratops will defeat Bronthikins? Do you think he can do it? It would be one monumental upset if Alberta Ceratops not only knocks out Omega Eocarc, but Bronthikins as well. And you might think, like, if he, if he does it, you might as well just give him the crown. Might as well give him the crown. <laughs> Alberta Ceratops could be our MVP in this tournament. But let's have a look at these this matchup as well. Rugops against Eoraptor could be an interesting matchup. I feel like if Rugops gets off a crit, then it will shred the Eoraptor because it's so fragile. Rugops is crit. It rips dinosaurs a new one. Put it that way. But yeah, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And until part two, this is Strange Gamer signing out.